So as I've uh, mentioned in other videos, um, the CDC uh, provided um, six pieces of advice on how to approach your own mental health during a time of crisis. Their article is called Coping with a Disaster or Traumatic Event. So the first of these is taking care of your body. And specifically, they say, try to eat healthy, well-balanced meals, exercise regularly, and get plenty of sleep. Avoid alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs. Learn more about wellness strategies for mental health. So um, take care of your body, first of all. Try to eat healthy, well-balanced meals. So um, healthy, well-balanced meals um, take um, take effort. They take thought um, because it takes some conscious thought to discern what is a healthy meal as opposed to a non-unhealthy meal. It takes some rational thought. Um, our instincts can tell us what is a yummy meal, right? My instincts are I don't, don't doesn't require any thought, any education, etc. So it actually requires some thought to have a healthy meal, a well balanced meal. You have to think about, you know, what you're eating at different times. There's a lot of there's a bit of planning. It uh, doesn't really um, go hand in hand with impulse eating, for example, or emotional eating, if you want. Um, so it takes a bit of education. Um, but then, more importantly, it takes some willpower. It takes a sustained determination. So that means that a large proportion of society has either not received the education or doesn't have the willpower to sustain a healthy, well-balanced diet, or there are other um, circumstances putting them at a disadvantage, like they're in a, a food desert, urban food desert, for example, with only access to junk food. But um, for folks who have enough um, money uh, and access to food to get access to healthy food, then um, that is typically not the obstacle that they're they're facing. Um, it's typically not a financial obstacle. But, 